The victims have the right to present their views and concerns to the appropriate chamber. So what that means in practice is that the chamber in question, whether it be the pretrial, the trial chamber, or the appeals chamber, can give the victims leave to present um, a number of elements during the trial. What that means in practice is that victims, through permission of the relevant chamber, so the pretrial chamber, the trial chamber, or the appeals chamber, um, can do a variety of things which are normal actions in court. They can, for example, give an op make an opening statement or give a closing statement. They can um, summon, examine, or cross-examine any witness. They can pr present evidence to the court. They can also file motions and briefs. In the IASH case, which is a trial in absentia, the victims have not had an opportunity to exercise one of their other uh, possible rights, and that is the opportunity, should an accused person choose to give testimony, to ask the trial chamber to present questions directly for the accused to answer.